Hey guys, Kate here, and today we're going to be talking about fur meats. So, you want to host your own fur meat? Maybe you don't have any local cons in your area. Maybe you just want to make some new friends. Or maybe you just want something fun to fill your free time. In my own personal experience, I've actually helped host two fur meats. I've also been to some fur meets that were hosted by other people. I'm going to tell you how you can set up your own fur meet in your area. Important disclaimer! I am not responsible for anyone choosing to put themselves in an unsafe environment, nor am I authorized to offer you legal advice. Always use common sense when planning meetups of any kind and be safe. Step 1. Choose a safe and public location. When choosing a location, try to pick a place that is okay with potentially large groups of people, has fun activities or food, not too expensive or too far away for people to travel, and is a safe and public environment. Never host a fur meet at your home unless you absolutely know everyone who is invited. Step 2. Set up a date and time. If you already have some people interested in going to your meetup, try to work with their schedules and see what time and date might work best for them. Sometimes people have to take off work or cancel other plans to go to your fur meet. So give them plenty of advance notice. Your date and time can be subject to change, but make sure you let everyone know that ahead of time. You should also call ahead and check to see that your location's business or operation hours align with people's schedules so you can plan accordingly. If you need to make a reservation for any reason, be sure to do that. Step 3. Check to see if fursuiting, cosplaying, or costuming is allowed at your location. Naturally, businesses aren't always comfortable with people costuming or fursuiting at their establishments. Some states or countries might even have a no mask law that bans people from wearing masks or face coverings in public. You should either call your location or even better, go to the location in person without a fursuit to check to see if they will allow you and your friends to fursuit. If they say no, either respect their rules or you can go find another location that will allow you to fursuit. Step 4. Advertise your fur meat on social media. The more the merrier. Advertise your fur meat on places like Facebook, Fur Affinity, Furry Amino, etc. Be sure to include the location, the date and time, and if fursuiting is allowed. Never advertise your fur meat on sites that could be potentially dangerous and use caution when inviting strangers to in-person meetups. I recommend either bringing a parent or guardian if you are underage or a friend or a co-host just for additional safety. Step 5. Additional planning, food, entertainment, etc. I recommend opening a private chat or group where you can talk about additional planning like additional games, entertainment, more discussion of the rules of the location, and bringing food and drinks. You should always specify if alcohol will be provided, or if you can bring your own, or if you're banning it altogether. Step 6. Etiquette at a fur meet. It is extremely important that at a fur meet, whether you are hosting or attending, that you follow all of the laws and rules for that location, for that state, park, area, etc. Never put yourself or anyone else in a dangerous situation. If you are underage and you are attending a fur meet with people of other age groups, it is always wise to bring a parent or guardian with you because the people hosting the fur meet are not liable for you. Also, if alcohol is not allowed, please respect that 
Most fur meets that I have been to do not allow alcohol just because it can be dangerous. Hard or illegal substances should never be brought to a fur meet. This actually happened at a fur meet that I attended a couple years ago. It could have ended up very badly. Fortunately, it did not, but you should never bring illegal substances, illegal drugs of any kind to a fur meet or a convention. Another thing to note is that you should never go to meet strangers by yourself. If you can, always bring a friend, a parent, a co-host, just don't go by yourself. And one last thing, don't be afraid to make friends at fur meets. Yes, they are extremely awkward most of the time. At least most of the fur meets that I've gone to, people are extremely shy and awkward. But it's okay, because we're all furries and it doesn't matter. <laughs> Don't be afraid to have fun. I always end up having a ton of fun at these, and you should too. As always, if you guys have any questions for me at all, I do have some experience with this, both hosting and attending. Feel free to leave a comment down below or you can message me on social media. All of my handles are in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.